Welcome to the ninth session of Earth and Space Science. This is still Sir CJ, and we are now working on the sixth learning competency for this uh, grade level. All right, so for this uh, grade level's uh, third quarter Earth and Space Science, this is the sixth learning competency, and it is as follows. Describe certain climatic phenomena that occur on a global level. Again, so uh, that day we were discussing weather lang, we were only discussing about climate, pero now uh, we are going to discuss climate uh, that is happening all across the globe. Okay, so if you want to follow through with your learner's module, you can open it in Unit 3, Module 2, pages 43 to 49. This session, Session 9, specifically has the following parts. The first part is a discussion on the introduction to climate change. And then the second part is activity number seven, which is entitled Getting Ready. And then the last part, which is a discussion, is going to be about greenhouse gases and greenhouse effect. So in the previous um, session, session eight, uh, na introduced na natin sa ating mga discussion, sa ating um, lesson, yung uh, greenhouse effect, no? Bale, meron na tayong konting idea about what is greenhouse Effect. All right, so let us now deepen our understanding with the first part. All right, so discussion on the introduction to climate change. What you see now on the photo right here is um, it's a very sad scene. I know, it's a very sad scene. Um, polar bears, uh, their biology, their physiology is uh, really intended for these kinds of ecosystems. And uh, now they're very home. The only home, perhaps, that uh, that that can uh, make them thrive, is diminishing. Nababawasan yung yung size. The uh, polar ice caps are melting. The uh, sea level is rising, and um, as an effect of that, uh, one more effect of that is that uh, organisms such as polar bears they are having a very hard time surviving. Climate change is one of the most current worldwide issues. Some experts say that it is true that the Earth does go through a period of cooling and a period of warming. The increase of temperature that we are experiencing right now is caused by factors other than human activity. Another point of view is that the increase of Earth's temperature is brought about by some human intervention. Global warming can bring about a rising of the sea level due to the melting of ice caps and glaciers. We may experience severe weather disturbances such as much stronger typhoons and heavier rainfalls because of global warming. Some parts of the world may, ex may also experience the so-called El Nino or La Nina, especially those that are living in the Pacific or near the Pacific. And most of all, it can cause the extinction of some fauna and some flora. So let us interpret this. Okay, Let us interpret uh, what this slide is trying to tell us. Climate change, uh, greenhouse effect, global warming are three interconnected concepts. Okay, There are three internet interconnected concepts. And now what is happening is global warming is worsening and it is because of some natural and um, man-made reasons. Let me put emphasis to that. Um, natural reasons. Um, greenhouse effect is a natural process. Okay, let us be clear on that. A part of greenhouse effect uh, is really a natural process. It is the process in which the uh, planet can regulate its own temperature by not allowing all of the um, sun's energy to just reflect to space. Okay, that is a natural process. Um, the reason perhaps why um, heterotrophs are uh, exhaling carbon dioxide and that carbon dioxide can be sourced out from uh, other uh, natural uh, processes other than respiration, exhalation to be particular, um, it's because um, greenhouse effect as as it is is natural. Okay, hindi natin kasalanan ang lahat ng forms ng greenhouse effect, kasi na may nat natural siya. Yen ang pamamaraan ng ating planeta para mapanatili ng ating planeta yung uri ng uh, temperature na mayroon siya. Okay, that is greenhouse effect, and you will know more about this later. Ay okay, kaso, okay kaso. 
um, meron din uh, greenhouse effect, okay? Na may, meron ding parts ng greenhouse effect na hindi lang cause ng nature, cause din siya ng humans. Okay? Hindi lang yung pag breathe out natin, pag exhale natin ng air, ang contribution natin. Um, industrialization, yung pagsusunog ng fuel, okay? Those are uh, just some of the many uh, many ways in which humans has uh, altered okay greenhouse effect has altered greenhouse effect okay i hope i'm being clear on that okay so um greenhouse effect is a natural natural process and it's also a man made uh, man inflicted process it's just that uh, the irresponsible, uh, some uh, degree of uh, irresponsibility from among humans has made greenhouse effect a bad thing because it is uh, trapping more heat okay, than what it's supposed to trap. And because of that, nagkakaroon ng global warming. Global warming is the overall warming of the planet. And it causes the yeah, melting of the polar ice caps right here. And it also worsens the La Nina and El Nino phenomena in some parts of the world. Ang El Nino and La Nina are natural processes. They are brought by uh, the winds, the, ocean, the current of the winds. Okay, it's just that uh, because na, mas nagiging warm ang ating planet, mas nagiging worse din yung nagiging effect ni El Nino at La Nina. So that is the interpretation of this quick introduction. Remember, um, this is supposed to be an introduction to climate change and we are not there yet. Okay, so what do you know about climate change ba? Sige, just pause this video and then uh, think about climate change. Okay. Climate change, as you know it, uh, parang hawig siya ng global warming, di ba? Um, actually, let us be technical, ha? Um, climate change is different from global warming. Climate change refers to the overall change, okay, across the globe in terms of their climate patterns. Yung mga, ano, yung mga parts ng world na mayroong snow, before, hindi naman ganun katin, katitindi yung mga snow nila, okay, uh, ngayon, sobrang tindi na. May mga parts naman ng globe, tulad ng ng Pilipinas, na nakaka-experience na ng dry season dati, oo, tama yon But hindi naman siya kasing uh, dry at kasing init ng na-experience natin ngayon. Yung klima natin, nagbago na. Okay, so dahil nga nagiging warm na yung ating planeta, at dahil nagiging warm siya, dahil nga nagtatrap ng mas maraming um, heat, ng, nagtatrap ng mas maraming thermal energy, ang ating planeta dahil kumakapal na yung kanyang greenhouse gases. Dahil din yon yung kapagkapal naman ng greenhouse gases ay dahil na rin doon sa irresponsible na pag-burn natin ng fuel, yung dependence natin sa fuel. Tanungin nga kita, nag-burn ka na ba ng fuel? You can't really say na hindi ka nakinabang sa pag-burn ng fuel kasi if you have, a, ano, if you rode a car, recently na nakadepende sa pagbaburn ng gas o kaya uh, ng iba pang uh, petroleum products, bao diesel, you already contributed. Pinatronize mo na ang pagbaburn ng fuel. Okay, ang ating electricity too, okay, ang major source ng electricity natin is um, burning of coal which in turn is going to uh, release greenhouse gases. Carbon dioxide to be specific. Huwag mo sabihin sa akin na hindi ka nanonood ngayon through a device na gumagamit ng electricity. So, in a way, we did, we, we did not uh, really initiate this, pero we are patronizing uh, these, ano, uh, the, the, uh, the products of, uh, of these technologies that are actually worsening climate change. Ayan. So, uh, that is the introduction. This is what we are going to discuss, okay? in this portion of the module. Let us now proceed with activity number seven, getting ready. Okay, so the objective for this uh, activity is for you to be able to assess yung iyong prior knowledge, yung alam mo na, at saka experience about climate change. Ayan, so paano natin gagawin yan? Okay, so you need to uh, fill out the following bingo card by crossing out and marking the boxes that apply to you or that indicates something you can do 
or you can answer. Okay, so what you need to do is ganito. Siyempre, wala ka namang printed copy nito, diba? So you can message me for a printed copy of this. But for my students, this is what I am asking them to do. Okay, so you can just draw a table. Draw this table okay, on your uh, sheets of paper, on your science notebook, on your sheets of paper. Draw this. And then uh, write uh, what you see inside. Um, do not just read them. You have to write them. And about, can, can you say the word carbon dioxide in a scary way? Okay, so um, one, if you can do this, you okay, can say carbon dioxide in a scary way. Cross this out. None. Okay, so write this, these uh, words that you see inside this box on your sheets of paper or on your science notebooks. And then uh, once you have completed all of them, you can cross out yung mga kaya ninyo, yung mga alam ninyo, okay, at saka yung mga tanong na alam ninyo sagutin. I'll be giving you a moment. This is going to be quite long. Okay, medyo mahaba itong activity na to. So I'll be giving you a moment to do this by yourself. Okay, so you can pause this video. Okay, if you are back, that means you have uh, completed. Eh? Okay, you have completed the uh, bingo. <laughs> right, so I hope that uh, you take a look back at the, the many things that you crossed out. And then I hope that uh, while you were going through each item, while you were going through each box, you were, uh, you were getting more ideas, okay? more ideas about um, climate change, more ideas about carbon dioxide, Okay, more ideas about uh, your lifestyle and how your lifestyle affects uh, the planet as a whole. Uh, so that is it for activity number seven, getting ready. Okay, I hope that your minds now are, uh, meron na silang konting, ano, medyo na, na trigger na natin yung mga minds ninyo. Okay, meron na tayong konting um, idea okay, about uh, what we will be discussing next. Okay, so for greenhouse gases and greenhouse effect, um, this is the same um, illustration that we used in the previous in the previous session. Okay, so um, the solar radiation that comes from uh, the sun warms the planet Earth. Okay, so alam naman nating lahat that uh, yung life natin, yung life on Earth, okay, it depends on on many things and one of the most uh, important things talaga na nakukuha ng planet natin ay yung sunlight okay this is one of the life givers okay this is one of the reasons why yung mga processes dito sa planet earth nakakarry on sila halimbawa ang photosynthesis o oh, oh, meron siyang light and dark reaction but remember light reaction produces the raw materials na gagamitin for the dark reaction. So if there isn't light reaction, how will dark reaction take place? All right, so do, let, us, let us always keep that in mind, our lessons from the first quarter. Greenhouse gases, they form this layer okay, in the uh, atmosphere. And they include gases such as water vapor, okay, yung water vapor na nag evaporate from our seas, at yung water vapor na nagagaling sa mga geothermal power plants all across the globe, yun. Okay, kasama siya sa mga greenhouse gases. Yung pangalawa naman is yung carbon dioxide. Yan naman yung gas na in-exhale natin at yung gas na napaproduce kapag nagbaburn ng fuel. Okay, and ilang, ba, ilang mga, anong klaseng bagay ba ang may kakayahan na magburn ng fuel? Okay, una sa lahat, vehicles, yung mga sasakyan. So, motor man yan, uh, SUV man yan, sedan man yan, or uh, truck, okay? O, ambus, ambus, kahit ano, kahit uh, uh, basta vehicle na powered by, you know, powered by petroleum, okay, may kakayahan sila mag-burn ng fuel na yun at magpaproduce sila ng carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide in the process. Okay, also coal uh, burning of coal, yung, pang, yung major source natin ng electrical energy. Okay, source din yun ng carbon dioxide. One more uh, kind of greenhouse gas is methane. Ang methane, uh, naturally, tulad ng ano, carbon, at, ng carbon dioxide at saka ng water vapor, naturally occurring din siya. It is a highly flammable mat, um, organic compound. As you know it, isang carbon, apat na hydrogen. It's an organic compound. 
ay it also is used as an additive para mas maging maganda ang performance ng mga fuel natin. At kapag na-burn ang methane, it can also result to carbon dioxide. And then nitrous oxide, which is uh, made up of nitrogen as well as oxygen, and they are uh, deposited into the atmosphere. Ang nitrous oxide is uh, tulad ng, ano, tulad ng uh, nitrogen gas. Um, they are uh, needed for nitrogen, nitrogen fixation. Okay, so these are natural. At the same time, they can also be produced artificially. Ang layer ng greenhouse gases dito sa ating atmosphere, it serves as parang uh, it serves as, it serves as blanket. Okay, so kapag tinamaan tayo ng ano ng sunlight, ang energy mata transfer from the sun towards the planet at gagamitin yun ng planet natin para sa mga processes niya. Pero bago pa man siya nakabot ng planet natin, na filter out na yung ibang mga hindi talaga yung mga ibang mga rays tulad ng maraming ng matinding UV rays yung ibang UV rays na filter out na okay, so nare-regulate ng planeta natin yung kanyang temperatura because of this blanket of greenhouse gases okay, so kapag halimbawa wala ang greenhouse gases layer dito magbabalik lang lahat ng mga ng mga ano ng mga energy okay yung lahat ng energy na na-receive ng planet magbabalik lang sila sa space, okay? Ang magiging temperature natin is around 0 degree Fahrenheit. Mag-freeze tayo. Kaya importante rin yung pagmamaintain ng tamang kapal ng greenhouse gases uh, layer, greenhouse gas layer sa ating atmosphere kasi kung masyadong manipis yan, freeze ang planet. Kapag masyado naman siya makapal, magwa-warm ang planet. Okay, so... Yun na nga yung next point natin. Kapag masyadong makapal, when there is an increase in the overall amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, magiging abnormal yung increase ng ating temperatura. And that is going to lead to global warming. Yung mga areas na nasa mga temperate regions at saka yung tropical regions, ay yung mga temperate regions lang pala, because they have winters, they will have shorter winters. Yung mga nasa tropical regions naman, they will have longer and drier summers. Napaka-prone ng Pilipinas sa drought, no? lalo na ngayon dahil nga sa climate change. And then glaciers that cover land will melt sa mga polar ano polar regions. They will yung mga ano nila, yung mga glaciers nila, yung mga polar ice caps, they will melt, which will result to the rise of sea levels and which which is, which is also going to result to the ano to the um destruction of the habitat of polar ano polar uh, organisms ayun so um that is it for this part of this session uh, the discussion about greenhouse gases and greenhouse effect i i hope mas malinaw na sa no kung ano yung ibig nating sabihin by greenhouse gases sila yung gas mismo yung greenhouse effect naman yun yung mechanism okay yun yung pagtatrap ng konting ng, ng heat okay ng uh, greenhouse uh, gas layers sa ating atmosphere bakit ay sa ating planet bakit niya ginagawa yun para ma-regulate niya yung temperature ng planet para ma-regulate ng planeta natin yung sarili niyang temperature ano ulit mangyayari kapag walang layer of greenhouse gases anong mangyayari okay i hope tama yung sagot mo Right, so uh, that is it for the session 9 of Earth and Space Science. Um, we were able to discuss introduction and to have an introduction to climate change. We were able to finish activity number 7, getting ready. And then we were able to finish a discussion on greenhouse gases and greenhouse effect. We are still working on the sixth learning competency, which is describe certain climatic phenomena that occur on a global level. Uh, so this has been Sir CJ, and I hope that I will be able to see you in the next uh, video of this session.